just wanna be the greatest. Yeah. And I just wanna be famous. Hello everybody, this is Bram here, and today I'm back with another tutorial, and I'm gonna show you how to test how the test for named items in your inventory. And guys, it's been a while, so this is gonna be my first tutorial back, so um, I hope you guys are still enjoying these tutorials, even though it's been a while since I've given one. But anyways, guys, like I said in the Come Back to Brand video, I'm going to try and make my tutorials faster. So if this is a little fast for you, um, try slowing it down or re-watching it to try and understand the best I can, as I will be talking fast, so I'm sorry in advance for that. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and let's get started on this tutorial. Okay guys, the way this is going to work is whenever I pick up the diamond, it's going to give me speed. And I'm just using the effect of speed as the um, output, so you can change it to whatever you want, depending on how you want to set it up and how you what you know how to do. So, yeah, basically this can work if I'm holding it, it's in my hotbar, or if it's in my inventory. But as soon as it's out of my possession, it turns off the effect. So whenever I go to pick it up, it's going to give it to me, and yeah. And I can throw it back in the chest and it won't do any harm to me. But anyways, guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, give yourself the scoreboard. So I'm not going to be reading it out. I'll read out some parts if I need to. So basically, you can put this in the text chat or a command block with a button, however you want to do it. And basically, what you're doing is you're adding the scoreboard objective of ID. So that way, we can modify the numbers and give random people a specific number. And this is using utilizing an ID system, so if you guys don't know how to do an ID system, I'm going to show you how to do it now. I might make a separate tutorial on this, so that way, because it's such an overpowered system, and that way you guys can understand it better. But anyways, the second command is going to be a repeat, always, a repeat unconditional always active, and it's going to be testing for all players. And then you're going to want a comparator coming out of that into a redstone dust, and the face of the dropper is going to be facing the redstone... Um, dust and the redstone output is going to go into the impulse. But basically what this is doing is whenever someone leaves or joins, it's going to change the state of this redstone. So it sets off the observer. Okay, in this impulse command, it's going to be impulse unconditional needs redstone. And basically what it's doing is whenever someone leaves or joins the game, it's going to set everybody's ID to zero. So that's the command. Pause if you need to. And then the next one is going to be chain unconditional always active. And basically, once everybody's reset to zero, it's going to choose one random player with or one player out of the game with the zero, with the ID of zero, and it's going to assign them the ID of one. And pause it if you need to again. And then the next one is going to be choosing a different player a random other player in the game with an ID of zero and assigning them two. And then another player who has the ID of zero, so a completely different person, and it's going to be random, with the ID of three. And like I, in like that pattern, you're just going to go up four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I recommend eleven for realms. So basically, what you're doing is you're resetting everybody to a different ID, so everybody will have a, their own ID, so it's the same number. And the reason we want that is. What we can do is in target selectors, so like this, we can find one person and single them out instead of typing in their whole name, which would be tedious because every time someone joined, you would have to type in their name and stuff like that. But with this system, um, you can do the ID system. So that way, instead of typing in their name, they get a number. Then what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to give yourself a item with a data tag of 10. So basically, I'm giving myself a diamond with a one diamond with a data tag of 10. So you're going to have to remember that data tag because um, it could be one and you just have to make sure you're doing one or it could be two, whatever you do it as. But just remember that number. Mine, in my case, is 10. So basically what this one is doing, and here are the stats, repeat, unconditional, always active. And what this is doing is it's clearing and every diamond in your inventory with a data tag of 10 and it's clearing zero of them. So instead of clearing them, like the command suggests, since it's clearing zero, it's setting the command off, but it's not doing anything. 
So basically, this is testing for the diamond in your inventory with a data attack of 10. And I should have explained this earlier, but instead of testing for the name on the item, since you can't do that, you test for the data tag. So every time you make a new item, make sure the data tag is a different data tag if you're using the same item, if that makes sense. And what you're going to do here also is you're going to do scores equals ID equals 1. So basically what you're going to want to do is make, um, so if you have 11 of these modules, 11 IDs, in your game, then you're going to want to make 11 of these little systems. And this one's going to be 2, and this one's going to be 3, if that makes sense. And then pointing into this block, you're going to want um, your output. So at A scores ID equals 1, and then the next one is ID equals 2. And if you guys want to copy the speed effect or whatever effect you want, um, do this command. And that's, I just did the speed for the example. And it's going to be chain conditional, make sure it's conditional, and always active. Okay, guys, I know this was a little fast of a video, and I'm sorry that was fast for those of you who couldn't understand it. But I'm just trying out a new method to do tutorials and see how you guys like it and see if I could do it fast and people would understand it still. I'm just trying out new methods, basically what I'm saying. And I want your guys' feedback. Tell me how... Uh, Tell me how I did in the comments. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if I should go back to what I was doing. Um, however you want me to do it. Because I know this method of doing it is more for the advanced people who know roughly what each command does. And just needs to put the ideas together to make the system. But anyways guys, if you guys like this video, please leave a like. And if you guys really loved it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. But anyways guys, this has been Braham. And I'm out. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Yeah Ready to go man, lock and load That's right I swear to God that I could drop it bro Yeah I got a shot and I